this discussion and the reason why I want to talk about it and meet it head on is because typically when we think about worries or anxieties or things like that, the more we try to avoid them and the more we try to, like yesterday, put our fingers in our ear and go, la, 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 that's not a problem, the worse it gets. So instead, my goal is to present this information, have a discussion around it. So when this is when you're having this experience for yourself, you're like, oh, I remember what we talked about with Psych Sensei. Okay, this is not that bad. Or, oh, this is kind of close, but uh, I know what, what to do. I, I, I've been here before. I, I'm going to be fine. And yes, my friends, you will be fine. Okay. So I'm taking like the three areas where I think people get affected, you know, the most or most common places people get affected with anxiety. I think there is a physical somatic, maybe I'll put that there. So like of your body, so that physical experience of anxiety, then you have like a cognitive mental piece to it, the thinking and the meaning making. And then you have the emotional components too that I think trigger some cognitive mental stuff, but we'll kind of run, maybe they run together, maybe they won't, we'll see, maybe we'll smush them together as this discussion goes on, whatever, I, whatever I feel like.